there, everybody. John Keatley is well known for photographing the world's most iconic people, from Bill Gates to Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. For his first public exhibition, he is taking a new approach. To tell us about it, please welcome John Keatley. It's good to have you here. Yeah, so, you. how did you get started in photography? I started out in college, and it was just something that I kind of accidentally fell into. I was taking pictures of friends, and my parents said, you can't afford to do this anymore, you have to pay for school. So I took literally my last roll of film in to get developed, and the lab manager pulled me aside, and I thought I was in trouble. I was like, why are you talking to me? And she said, you have a really good eye. Have you ever considered being a photographer? Wow. And I had no idea what that meant. But it came at a time where I was looking for something to latch on to, and so that was it. I Turns just, out that is a job. It was a job. I had no idea, but it's turned yeah. into one, at least so far. So. And you've got this great eye for portraiture. What made you so excited about people as the subject? I think it's taken me the last 15 years to kind of figure that out for myself. It's People have always just been something that I've been fascinated by, faces, and me the ability too. to tell a story, even without context, just in a face. Right. And I think that's part of this new project for me is kind of getting back to that because as I went through doing commercial photography and advertising, there was a period of time where I kind of pulled away from that. I think, you know, self-doubt and fear and outside voices saying, you can't just do faces, you have to do other things. And I think it was a period of just stepping back and thinking about what do I actually want to do and say, not what other people want me to do. And As an artist with Yeah, this. what do I have to say? And so it, that's where I started realizing, like, these ideas and stories that I have in my head are coming in the form of portraits. So what is the exhibition called? It's called Uniform. What does that mean? Well, it's there's there's many different meanings. The, the genesis of it was I was actually in Disneyland with my family, and there was a parade, and they had the Green Army men marching through, mm -hmm. which has been around for a long time. <laughs> right. I think many of us have had these toys, but now with Toy Story, Green Army men have kind of become a little more uh, popular again. And, but it, what really struck me was when did something such as war becomes this fun, you know, item that we're cheering at in a parade. You know, it's things that kids play with with no outside idea of what it actually what represents. What that really is. And so I became interested in where that disconnection takes place. And I think we see that today, again, in the forms of like social media, where people will say and do things to other people because they're not looking at a face, they're looking at a profile you know online or a name or a number it's not and so I was really interested in what happens when you introduce humanity and a face and a real person mm -hmm. into something that we're so familiar with this iconic green army man everyone always so oh, oh it looks like Toy Story or the toys or whatever but I wanted to create something that maybe makes people stop and think about what is this uh, what does this really represent right and, well, that's a, such a good point because we are at a remove now from it, we have this ability to talk directly to people, but from behind a screen, and they're behind a screen, and right. it, it has opened the door to a lot of things that, you know, for many of us are pretty disturbing. So your idea is to kind of take that down a bit. Really, it's, it's there's a statement, as I mentioned, but a lot of it for me is I want people to, to wrestle with it for themselves. And a lot of the work that I create um, on my own is is that's my approach to it as well as I'm not necessarily always hitting people to the head and saying this is what you need to know or but I just want people to think you know yeah. as I'm trying to do for myself so. exactly so what gave you this idea beyond just seeing those figures what do you think that meant to you in that moment well I think it was um, really I think what it meant was it was something that I felt really curious about and I wanted to discover more for myself what that might feel like what it would look like I felt like it was a really strong visual image that mm -hmm. I was um, excited to explore and and there was obviously all kinds of uh, production you know hurdles to, to get through to make it happen so it was a challenge for me as well I think people are going to be really interested to see this how Thank long you. will the exhibition be up it will be up all month all month that's good the opening is this Thursday so it's I don't know if you know this but it's it's national organization month so Organize. we'll get organized uh, as we did at the beginning of the like show it. in order to make it to your I show like it, thank you thank very you. much John's exhibit uniform opens Thursday at trees and gallery in Pioneer Square you can find out more on New Day's homepage and we'll be right back Thank you very much.